everyone, this is Jeremy Tallman with TH Realty Services. You know, nearly every time I speak to a brand new landlord or a, a landlord who's new to the Indianapolis market, the question of landscaping inevitably comes up. Most landlords, it appears, aren't real certain who's responsible for landscaping their rental homes. So today I thought I'd spend a few minutes and help answer the question, what landscaping will my tenant do? And first I'll say, it solely depends on the lease that you have in place. First, I'll start by saying that in Indiana, um, most single family homes have yards that have grass. And that may seem like a simple concept, but I speak to a lot of out-of-state investors who are surprised that uh, the home they're looking at or the home they own has so much grass. Um, in fact, that's generally the biggest part of any landscaping uh, initiatives that uh, landlords or tenants may have to undertake. Uh, for example, you may only have to lay mulch once a year on your property and uh, you may only have to pull weeds or trim bushes a few times a year. But in Indiana, the grass growing season starts as early as April and can go all the way through November. And usually, um, that grass will need mowed every single week. So it's a big concern. So let's first talk about the normal landscaping expectations for Indianapolis tenants. The first, as I mentioned before, is mowing. Most tenants that live in Indianapolis, that live in single family homes, expect to mow their yard. So they either have a lawnmower or are prepared to buy one. So definitely mowing is something that you can put in your lease as a requirement for the tenant to do. Second is trimming shrubs and bushes. Now, um, you know, again, most people that live in Indiana are prepared to do a little bit of trimming uh, in terms of, the, of, of bushes or shrubs or things like that. So that's a normal expectation uh, for tenants as well. And finally, uh, weed removal in landscaped areas um, is something that we require from tenants and I think something most tenants are okay doing. Um, so that basically means pulling weeds uh, where you have your landscaped areas to make sure everything stays nice and neat that way. Now let's talk about normal expectations for uh, Indianapolis landlords, what landlords are generally expected to take care of. First is yard fertilization. Um, this is an investment in the property. Um, it's not overly expensive, but it's something that landlords generally are expected to take care of here in Indianapolis. So that could be a one-time uh, treatment each year or a multi-stage treatment that uh, the, the, the uh, yard company will treat the yard uh, throughout the year. So we highly encourage our owners to take uh, advantage of this program. We offer it um, as an add-on service to our, to our management services. We think it's a good investment to make for your property. Keeps the HOA kind of at bay, keeps those weeds out of the, out of the yard, and we think it's a good thing to do. Second is mulching. Uh, again, this is an investment in the property, uh, another service that we offer, but um, we think it's uh, probably in the landlord's responsibility to, to purchase that mulch, lay that mulch in the landscaping areas. Most time it's not a big deal. It needs to be done once a year generally. Uh, makes the yard look nice. Uh, gives those tenants some pride in ownership or pride in tenantship uh, so they can enjoy the home a little more. Third is tree trimming. Again, this is a, an item that could require getting up on ladders, uh, operating some, you know, some equipment. And we do expect our owners, if trees need to be trimmed, let's say a branch is getting too close to a house, we expect our owners to, to be able to, uh, to deal with that issue. The fourth issue is not necessarily landscaping, but it's somewhat related, and that's gutter cleaning. I thought I'd go ahead and mention that here. Uh, we do not expect our tenants to clean gutters. Uh, again, that's getting up on ladders. If you own a two-story home, that's getting way up on a ladder, and we don't want to expose anyone to some liability issues. That tenant falls off the ladder, slips, whatever. So that's something that, again, another service we offer and uh, something that most landlords are expected to take care of here in Indianapolis. Finally, I'll uh, address another question I get related to this, is how do you enforce uh, this landscaping uh, responsibilities? Generally speaking, you know, when springtime comes around, we do get um, some notifications from HOAs that the yard needs mowed. Obviously, we're not at your property every day. We don't have cameras on the home. We're not out with uh, rulers in the yard making sure the grass is the right size. But HOAs uh, are pretty proactive and will even notify you or your management company that the yard needs mowed. And again, inevitably, we have to send out a few notifications, generally mostly around springtime, uh, just to kind of remind people, hey, it's time to start mowing and you take care of that. So um, enforcement is usually not a big deal. Final thing I'll talk about is some landlords are interested in offering landscaping as a package. So basically these are people that 
could have lived in the home. We want to make sure that um, they don't upset any neighbors that they've become friends with. Uh, or it could be uh, they, they've owned this home for a while and they've had multiple problems with the HOA in regards to, to landscaping. So they just want to take away that headache and just offer it as part of a lease. And I think that's certainly a viable solution. We offer that on some of the homes that we manage. So basically you would say, you know, all landscaping included, and you can obviously charge more for that. And there is a certain percentage uh, of tenants who would be interested in doing that. People that are very busy, people that want to invest in any type of lawnmowers or just don't want to do the work, um, they're willing to pay for that. So that's certainly an option that you can offer. Again, this is Jeremy Tallman with TNH Realty Services. If you have any questions about landscaping or investing in the central Indiana market in general, please don't hesitate to contact us. And thanks for watching. Thank you.